Welcome to Hometown Haunts. Tonight the team travels to Dubois as we investigate the historic Wrights Theater. The following information was taken from Dubois Area Historical Society Incorporated's website. The alarm sounded at 2 o'clock in the afternoon on the afternoon of June 18th 1888. Smoke was seen coming from the Baker House, a three-story building on North Franklin Street, and no more than 200 feet from the corner of West Long Avenue. At the time, the main part of town from Sugar Alley to Stockdale Street was almost all wooden buildings. Roofs were hot from the sun and the wind was picking up and changing directions, spreading the fire in all directions. Flames leapt from building to building. The fire department was limited by lack of water that time. The water at Baker House was turned off and the initial flame dousing was done with buckets of water from nearby buildings and civilians. A water line in town was broken at that time. Residents hauled outside their possessions in attempts to save them. Some thought that the brick buildings would be safe, but the intense heat melted off iron shutters and ignited the buildings inside. When the fire reached Pence Run, two buildings were dynamited to clear and stop the fire. By the time of the explosion, the buildings had already caught fire. The explosion blew the burning pieces out and spread the fire to different buildings in town. John E. Dubois telegraphed to Renova for a fire engine. When the fire started, there were 166 businesses in the city. At 6 p.m., only four hours later that evening, only six were left. Nearly 500 people were homeless in town. Formerly the St. Paul's Evangelical Lutheran Church and the Cornerstone Baptist Church, the current day Wrights Theater is one of the few buildings remaining once the fire of Dubois was extinguished. During the aftermath of the great Dubois fire, the now Wrights Theater was used as a triage and morgue for those that were injured and perished in the fire. Nowadays, claims abound in the Paul G. Wrights Theater of seeing full-bodied apparitions, phantom footsteps on stage, disembodied voices, and feelings of uneasiness throughout the theater. Fortunately for us, the Wrights Theater wasn't a very large site. We were short of investigators that night, so it was myself, Darren, and our investigator in training, Eisen Lingenfelder, that had to cover quite a few areas of this theater. Uh, we wanted to focus on the stage, the backstage area, the green room area underneath the stage, and the basement storage area. So as the investigation begins, the three of us are out in the auditorium area and we begin doing a question and answer session. Very shortly, we begin experiencing some knocks and some movement up on the stage. Take a listen. All right, uh, Tyson, Darren, and Eisen, Wrights Theater, Dubois, PA. Time is 10.07. I say you want to just have a seat and see what happens. Do it again. Do it again. 
Please make that noise for us again. you please make that noise again so we know it's you for sure? Somebody here with us? Yep. Can you make that noise again, please? Make that noise again for us. If you can see it, I've placed a green light up here on the stage. If you would, would you please come close to this green light? It won't hurt you. It's just a way for us to know you're here with us. If you come close to this green light, more lights will light up. Won't make a noise or anything, just more lights will appear. Can you come close to that green light for me? That was a good one. Can you do that again, please? As we're sitting in the auditorium, and we're asking questions, we experience a very loud knock or bang, which actually sounds like it's on the steps where Eisen is sitting while he's filming us. And even though it doesn't transfer well in audio, as you'll see here shortly, to us, it sounds like a very loud bang. Take a look. You felt the vibration of the steps? I felt the vibration of the steps, the hair on my neck is going to tear up. That was loud. That was loud. I thought it was actually beside me. No, I thought it was going to be loud. I mean, I need some more too. Damn, I was pointing at the breeze off to my right side. Hello? So the three of us moved from the auditorium section of the theater down to the green room below the stage. Eisen, remaining as our cameraman, is focused on Darren and I as we're sitting there and we're asking for responses. When suddenly we hear a thump that sounds like it's come from overhead. As I was saying, can you close one of these two doors to the green room? Close both of them? We have to be on stage in about 20 minutes. We want to get changed. Can you close the door for us?
Shortly after hearing the thump, Darren says, if that was you, can you stomp on the stage this time so we can hear you more audibly? Take a listen. Give us a sign of your presence. Anything at all. Bang on something. Close a door. If you're up on the stage, stomp your foot on the stage. We'll hear that down here. If somebody's up on the stage, can you stomp your foot on the stage? Darren asks again, if that was you, can you please stomp again? Take a listen what happens. Can you do that again? Somebody say something to us, please. As the three of us are sitting in the green room, the activity starts to die down, and Darren says, if you'd like us to leave or you don't want us here anymore, give us a sign. Now, Darren and I, both at the same time, hear what sounds like a whistle or some kind of uh, auditory anomaly even though Eisen who's running the camera does not hear it. We'll have to chalk this up to a personal experience because it doesn't translate well to video or audio. Take a look. somewhere we shouldn't be. I think we're not welcome. If somebody doesn't want us down here, can you give us a signal that you don't want us down here? Can you bang on something? Real loud so we hear you. I did not. It was like, yeah. Somebody whistling? Keep in mind as you watch the episodes, the premise of our show is not to prove nor disprove a haunting. Um, we just take you, the viewer, along with us as we investigate these claims. At the end of the show, you make your own conclusions and decide if what you've seen makes these sites haunted or not. to your business name, no one knows how important it is to showcase your business better than Full Throttle Signs. Specializing in banners, vinyl signs, and large format printing, they handle all your promotional needs. So whether it's a lighted sign for your business, advertising for your vehicle with state-of-the-art wrapping, we got you covered. Full Throttle Signs, check us out at FullThrottleSigns.com. Give us a call at 814-765-5375. 
Hey folks, I'm Tyson Lidget, and if there's one thing I take as serious as being a paranormal investigator is taking care of my hunger. That's why my team and I always come to Highway Pizza in Phillipsburg. With a great selection of pizza made daily with fresh homemade dough, wings, trombolis, garlic fries, and sticky buns. And of course, my favorite, walking ready pizza by the slice. It's enough to scare away any hunger. So come on down to Highway Pizza Phillipsburg and check them out. Hey, tell them Mobile Paranormal sent you receive a dollar off any round pie or a dozen wings. Life is full of questions. Your choice for affordable cremation service shouldn't be one. I'm Rob Reed, the owner of the Reed Funeral Home in Hopsdale for over 18 years. Cremation service can be costly, but I understand the importance of value. That's why I specialize in affordable cremation services starting at $985 with no hidden fees. So whether you're looking for the traditional funeral services or our affordable cremation services, look no further than the Reed Funeral Home in Hopsdale. Affordable, professional services for all your planning needs. Are you tired of the same old boring night out? <laughs> Grab your friends and liven up your night at the after dark. You have an amazing night out as you dance the night away in the area's biggest light and sound system. With daily drink specials, a large selection of domestic and craft beers on tap, and live entertainment, you'll never have a dull night again. The After Dark, located at 150 Industrial Park Road, Clearfield. Start living after dark. At Bombshell Salon, we know how important it is to look the part without paying the price. With over 75 years of combined experience, we are a full-service salon for all your hair needs, along with manicures, pedicures, and waxing. With affordable rates and friendly atmosphere, you will quickly agree that Bombshell Salon is a family destination for all your beautification needs. Located outside of Phillipsburg on Tyrone Pike, open Tuesdays through Saturdays. Walk-ins welcome. Bombshell Salon. If your hair isn't becoming to you, then you should be coming to Bombshell. Welcome back to Hometown Haunts. Tonight, Movali Paranormal investigates the Wrights Theater in Dubois. The next clip which you're about to see takes place at 44 minutes and 12 seconds after midnight. Darren, Eisen, and myself are off stage to left at Control. When down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, we witness a wave of self illuminating light. That light disappears and then mid-screen becomes a ball of light and then disappears. Take a look. The next shot which you're about to see is a split screen view of the same evidence we just showed you. The bottom screen is the evidence which you just saw, with the top screen being a shot of the auditorium from the back. It's a full 30 seconds later after the anomaly happens that Darren comes out with a flashlight. Keep in mind, the light anomaly which you saw in the first piece of evidence is in mid-air. It's not against the wall. That camera is shooting from backstage out into the auditorium. So the light wave actually happens mid-air above the seats of the auditorium. Activity dies down in the green room and we don't get much activity in the storage area. So we move back out to the theater and we begin question and response session again, but this time we use flashlights. Uh, for the purpose of time, we condense this session which happened over the course of a half hour, 45 minutes. Take a look. What Darren just placed on the stage next to the uh, flashlights is an EM pump. Um, we actually got this EM pump from Ghostware Pro. 
uh, EM pump, just what it says, it actually puts out uh, constant electromagnetic fields towards a trigger object or something we want or would like a, a spirit to manipulate. Um, theoretically, we're just pumping free energy into the air around that object for the spirit to use. So, see if it works. <laughs> can you see where the air is coming up out of the... You can actually see it moving the dust. You see that? Yeah. Let's try this. I'm going to put another kind of flashlight up on the stage. It has a little soft rubber spot on the back of it. If you gently push on it, doesn't take much force. You can make the flashlight dim or you can make it go completely out. Oh. Hello. Okay, turn it out, please. Turn it off. Thank you. Turn it back on. Turn the silver flashlight back on, please. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Turn it off. question, turn that flashlight back on. Do you understand the question? Can you please do that for us? If the answer is yes to one of my questions, can you please turn on the flashlight? Do you understand what I'm saying? If you understand what I'm saying, Please signify by turning that flashlight on. Can you hear me? Is that you, Isaac? I I turned my head. That's it. It's like someone's getting drunk across the floor. Turn your head again. Did you hear that? Were you a fireman? Mm. Thank you. Can you see that? I did see that. As the night's wearing down, Darren, Isaac, and myself are reflecting on the night and kind of joking around when we don't hear it, but our camera audio picks up a very loud yell, which sounds like it comes from backstage. Take a listen. <laughs> <clears throat> We're going to believe, be leaving. Come on, give me one more. 
flash on that light. We'll leave you alone. We'll leave. Not too bad. So hopefully we caught the voices. We have a whole <coughs> lot of responsive nods. Yeah. That orb was crazy. Yeah, it was. And then the flashlight. And the dog. <laughs> yeah, the dog. <laughs> Thank you for communicating with us. I hope that you can move on. If you're stuck here, I hope that you can move on to a better place. I'm sorry if you were killed in the fire. But just one last time, thank you for communicating with us and speaking with us tonight. We appreciate it. And that's our investigation of the Wrights Theater in Dubois. You've seen the evidence we've collected, now the case is in your hands. Haunted or not, you decide. Hey, like us on Facebook and let us know what you think. Do you think the Wrights Theater is haunted or not? Thanks for watching.